Okay, so in this video, we're going to create an interactive GeoGebra worksheet where we'll have a slider tool to rotate a figure about the origin. I'm going to start by plotting my triangle PQR. I'm going to name the triangle points by typing P equals, and then I'll type the coordinates I want to use. And then after I finish typing in my coordinates, I'll use my polygon tool to connect the points together. So over here, we see a triangle with points. When we click on it, we see polygon is the top option. I will connect the points in the order I would name it. So PQR from P to Q to R, and then back to P to close the figure. I'm going to come over and click my arrow tool so that I don't create another polygon um, in my drawing that I don't want. I'm just repositioning my labels now. And now that I have that set up, I'm going to put a point at the origin. I'll call it O equals zero, zero. And I'll position this on the side. Now I'm going to do use the rotation. But before I do that, I want to put a slider tool into the worksheet. So you notice I clicked the menu, I chose slider, and now it's waiting for me to click the worksheet. And that's where it's going to place the slider. We want to choose integer so we can count by whole numbers. We want to start at zero for no rotation and 360 for one complete rotation and increment by one degree as we slide. Okay, we see that the slider tool is showing up where I clicked the worksheet. And now I go back to my arrow so I don't click another slider into my worksheet that I don't want. So now I need to choose my transformation. Uh, on the menu bar right here is our transformation button. And we have different transformations to choose from. I'm going to choose rotate around the point. And now I'm going to click on the center of my polygon. And then I'll click on the origin. And instead of 45 degrees, I'm going to leave the degree symbol there. I'm just going to go delete the 45 out, and the name of my slider is N. So I'm going to type N degrees, and it's going to go counterclockwise because geometric um, rotations are by default counterclockwise. But you can choose clockwise if you wanted to in your construction. And I click OK. And now, again, I choose my arrow tool so I don't construct anything I don't want yet. And if I slide it back to zero, we see that it's on top of the original figure. And as I move it, we have a rotation here. Now I'm going to just dress this up a little bit. I'm going to say, well, let's make my um, image a different color than my pre-image. So I'll click on it and choose the color tool here. And now just something else I want to do is when my image is on top of my pre-image, when there's been no uh, rotation, I don't want it to be visible. So I'm going to change uh, some features here. I'm going to uh, click on the point with either two fingers or right click. I'm going to go to settings. And here in the settings pane, I'm going to go to advance and say conditions to show the object. I'm going to type n greater than zero. And when I do that, that means that the object will only show when n is greater than zero. So that was p. Let's click on q and type the same thing n greater than zero. Hit enter. Let's click on R and greater than zero. Let's click on each of the sides of the polygon and do this again. And the center area of the polygon. So now that all of those have been um, defined to only be visible when n is greater than zero. I'm going to close my settings bar, click on my mouse tool so I don't create anything I don't want. And when I rotate this back to zero, it should disappear. It's gone. No rotation, no image. As soon as I start to move it, we see that there's an image and a pre-image. And we can go all the way around. Great. So what else might we want to show here? Well, we might want to show the angle of rotation from Q to Q prime. 
So let's come over to the segment tool and let's draw a segment from the origin to Q and from the origin to Q prime. I'm going to click my arrow tool and I'm going to change these lines. Hit the graphics button. I'm going to choose a dashed line and make it red. And I'll do the same thing for the other segment. Make it a dashed line and color it red. And over here is the angle measure tool. So from Q to O to Q prime, we see we have a right angle. I'm going to uh, two finger click on a Mac or control click uh, or right click with a PC to get the settings. And when I look at the settings, I'm going to say, don't show the label. And I'm going to go over to color and say color it red. And here's the opacity. I'm going to bring it to zero just so that the inner is not colored. And it just looks like a right angle that we would see in a textbook. Close the settings. And now as I change the angle, well, maybe I do want it to say the angle measure. So I'm going to right click on that, go to settings, show value. So I didn't want the name and value, just value I selected. And now I can position where this value is. Let's close the settings. And we can see that the angle value is there as we're rotating. Now, if we don't want that to be visible, we can add a checkbox. So come over to the slider tool, choose a checkbox, and put a checkbox here. I'm going to say show hide angle of rotation. And I'm going to choose the segment and the angle that is visible there. So here's the angle from Q to O to Q prime. I'm gonna make that disappear when I check off the checkbox. And the segment is from O to Q. And the other one is from O to Q prime. When I click OK. Now, before I can test this, uh, hit cancel, I didn't hit my mouse tool. Before I can test this, I have to save my work. So I'm gonna come over here and hit save. Give it a name. Rotation worksheet. I have it shared and it's being saved to my uh, GeoGebra cloud. And when I hit save, down below it says saving. I'm waiting for it to say it was successful. Great, saved successfully. Now I'm going to hit my refresh button. If I hit my refresh button before I save, all of my work disappears. So it's important to save it first. Now when I refresh it, so there, it's working. If I want to view the angle of rotation or hide it. And I can reposition this. Again, I have to, on my laptop, I have to hold down two fingers as I'm clicking and dragging for the checkbox. And the same is true here. If I want to move the slider tool, use two fingers to click and drag it. So we have our worksheet now. Um, I don't want this algebra pane view anymore. So I'm going to come over to my menu. I'm going to look for the view option. Here it is. And I'm going to say, I don't need to see the algebra pane anymore. And then I'll close the menu. And I can drag my coordinate plane around. I like to get everything as far over to the left of the screen as possible. This way, um, when I save this and I embed it into a site, everything is visible. Um, if everything is over too far to the right and I, and I embed my GeoGebra worksheet into a site, uh, it's not as user friendly. So keeping everything as far left as possible, I have found allows me to embed it in my LMS for my students to um, interact with the worksheet right inside of the LMS without them having to go to GeoGebra. All right, so I'm going to 
leave it like that. The position that it's in when you save it is the position it will first show up in when you're inside of a site. So once again, I'll hit File. File, Save. I'm keeping the same name, so we'll overwrite it. And I wait till it says Save Successfully, which it now says. And if I would like to get the embed code, I will go to my GeoGebra homepage, all the way to the left, click on Profile. And from Profile, see my rotation worksheet is here. Click on these little three buttons in the lower right-hand corner. You choose Details. And then you choose the share option. And then here's your embed code. And this little button lets you copy it. And now you can paste the embed code into your learning management system. And the GeoGebra worksheet will show up in there however you last saved it. So our last save was with a 97 degree angle with everything moved all the way to the left so that it will show up in the embed window just the way we see it here. Okay. I hope that video helps. Uh, send me comments if you have any questions.